Hey everyone, my name's Walter, and I have something special to bring you today. This is actually what I was going to do for Valentine's Day, but I never got around to it and streamed Lucas videos instead, I think. Anyway, this isn't really a comedy story, but I do put my videos under comedy. This is more like a horror story of how badly a Valentine's Day can possibly go. Let's just get started with relationship stories from Reddit Relationships. I guess content warning for abuse? No one gets physically hurt, but I could see the story bothering someone. Okay, let's go. My, male 28, wife, female 28, threw out the flowers I got her for Valentine's Day. I destroyed her late husband's wedding ring and messed everything up. I met my wife when we were 20. We've been together since shortly after we met. We got engaged at 26 and just got married last autumn. When I met her, she was a widow. She had known her late husband since infancy. Her mom babysat him and they had been dating since 7th grade. Married at 18. He died in a car accident when they were 20, shortly before I met her. When we first started dating, she was still grieving his death. She would often have panic attacks and lock herself in the bathroom, crying. I tried to be as understanding as I could when things like this happened. I tried to comfort her, but she would just ask for space. Over the years, this has lessened and lessened. She never brings him up anymore. Our first Valentine's Day, I got her chocolates and flowers. She accepted them and said she appreciated the gesture. But then she said she thinks Valentine's Day is just a stupid commercial holiday that she doesn't care for. I retorted that I think it's a sweet day where couples could profoundly express their love, and that I'd still like to celebrate it at least a little. After pressing it for a while, she admitted that she didn't want to celebrate it because she celebrated it with her late husband. It started with corny little Valentine's cards you make for your classmates in elementary school, to full-fledged romantic dinners, then eventually they got married on Valentine's Day. We were freshly in the relationship, so I digressed and agreed no Valentine's Day, so I never attempted to celebrate it again. That brings us to this Valentine's Day. Man, I can feel my blood boiling typing this. It's our first Valentine's Day as a married couple. She never discusses him anymore, so I think, why not surprise her with some flowers after work? We've come so far over the years. Our relationship is near perfect. I love her beyond words. Nothing wrong with expressing that, right? Wrong. I bring home the flowers, a full-fledged $100 bouquet, and she loses her absolute shit. She says it's the one thing she's ever explicitly asked me not to do, and I couldn't even respect that. She grabs the flowers out of my hands, storms out of the apartment without even putting shoes on. I follow after her. She starts screaming at the top of her lungs and throws them in a dumpster. Her knees give out and she shrinks down to the ground, crying like absolute crazy. I've never seen her this bad. I get down on the ground with her and hold her, profusely apologizing. She calms down, we go back up to our apartment. A few hours pass by as normal, and admittedly... I make maybe an even bigger mistake. She's on her computer doing some work. I ask her, Do you still love him? Was I just a rebound? I regret the words as soon as they came out. I wish I could take them back instantly. We haven't discussed him since the first year we were together. But I don't want to ignore the subject. It's killing me. I had to ask. No response. Nothing. At all. I get angrier. I know I shouldn't have, but I start yelling at her to answer me. She gets up, she starts packing up a duffel bag with clothes. I ask where she's going, still nothing. She wouldn't even make eye contact with me. She takes off her engagement and wedding rings from our marriage and puts it on the nightstand. I lose it at this point. I feel out of my mind. I literally can't feel my body. It's like I'm watching myself from the third person. Her late husband was cremated, so she kept his wedding ring after he passed in a little box in her sock drawer. I grab the box and get a hammer. I start bashing the ring in and telling her that he's dead. I'm her husband now. I can't believe that she's not over him. Awful stuff, I know. I don't know what I was thinking. She bawls for me to stop. I immediately stop. I realize what I had just done. I wasn't thinking. I couldn't have been. I would never do something like that, but I just did. Uh, yeah, this is obviously awful. It's just, he said he regretted the words as soon as he said them, but if he really regretted them, why do you keep going with it? I have seen stories where a woman can't get over her late husband and really just ends up hurting the new husband, but this woman does not seem to be doing that. It sounds like she's been pretty reasonable about it for years. That's the thing, you can't really compete with someone who's dead. She no doubt remembers him being a lot more perfect than he really was either way. That's why it's good that you don't have to compete with someone who's dead. Well, let's get back to it. And then she left. I begged her to stay as she walked out, but she didn't. I've tried contacting her a million times since. Her phone is off? Or she blocked me. I don't know. I called her parents and close friends. No one knows where she is. Or at least they won't tell me. I know I messed up. Is there anything I can do to fix this? Is my marriage over? 
I've never felt that kind of anger before. I've never been so vicious before. I don't know what came over me. Jealousy? Maybe. I don't know. I guess I can't really describe it. It just felt like everything I built with her was based on a rebound. If he hadn't died, they would probably be together and I'm just holding his place now. She's always treated me with immense love, never compared me to him. She's the most hardworking, brave, sweetest woman I know. She's always encouraged me and pushed me to achieve my dreams and supported me when I failed. Man, I can't even believe he thought he could salvage this relationship. Like, the flowers probably weren't that big of a deal in the long run, but the ring, yeesh. Okay, well, that's the original story. Reddit let him have it, of course, but we have some updates here. Edit slash update. Her brother called me and let me know she's safe and staying with a family member, but won't specify where. He asked if he could come pick up some more of her stuff, including the destroyed ring. He specifically asked I not throw it away or further tarnish it. From our place, without her. I reluctantly agreed. I really want to see her, but I understand why I can't right now. She hasn't texted me back or called me herself. I'm starting to think she won't be anytime soon. And according to everyone here, I have no one to blame but myself. Not sure if I'll keep replying to comments, it's taking a toll on me, but I'm still reading all of them. Some are hard to read, but I appreciate them anyway. I guess I'm an asshole, but it's hard to live in the shadow of a ghost. I just wanted to celebrate Valentine's Day so I could show her how much I love and appreciate her. Things got out of hand. Some of my comments on here were out of anger, and I'm sorry for that. I love my wife, despite what people here think, and I won't stop fighting for her. Second slash last update. Never mind, I was wrong. She texted me back shortly after her brother called. The next time you see me, there will be a lawyer and divorce papers. I'm scared of you now. Please stop contacting me and my family. And if you come anywhere near me, I'm calling the cops. Verbatim. So I guess that's that. I guess I underestimated the severity of what I did. I guess it isn't as black and white as I thought. I knew I messed up. I just didn't think it was this bad. I'm floored. Devastated. I hope she just texted that out of anger and that she'll come around. Part of me is so angry I want to throw out his ring entirely and her engagement slash wedding ring from our marriage too. It's hard to imagine she actually wants to leave me. For now, whiskey it is. Okay, actual last update after I left her multiple voicemails and texts after her last text. She sent me back one text. Here it is. I love you. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you, but it's become clear you can't accept the life I had before you. I learned how to love because of him, and because of that I was able to love you as long and as much as I did. In a way, you're right. I wasn't ready to get into a relationship when we did, but we did, and we were in deep. I wasn't ready, but I didn't want to lose you because it was the wrong timing, and we built an amazing life together, or so I thought. What you did was unforgivable. I would have rather you hit me with the hammer and leave the ring intact. I got rid of all my photos with him because you didn't want it in our home. That ring was all I had left. Please do not get rid of it. Keep the apartment, keep the car, keep anything you want of ours. I will tell any lawyer I want the bare minimal. But that ring is mine. If you ever cared about me, let me just have it back so I can get it fixed. We're not coming back from this, I'm sorry. I hope you'll heal from this, but there's nothing you can say or do to undo the damage here. What's done is done. Take care of yourself. Legal proceedings are the only thing in our future, and I'm sorry that that has to be the case, but I'm done. That was pretty brutal, wasn't it? I'd imagine he probably thought it would be weighed against her throwing out a hundred dollar bouquet, but it clearly wasn't even close to the same thing. Not to mention, she didn't throw out the bouquet with the intention of hurting him. That might be the biggest thing. Okay, I still have to hit ten minutes, so let's listen to someone from the comments with much better insight than I have. I'm super, super late to this, and probably no one will read this, least of all you, OP, but I want to try to explain something. My dad died on Christmas Eve when I was 15. It has overshadowed every Christmas since then, and I'm 36 now. My ex-husband told me on our first Christmas together that he didn't like to hear about my dad at that time because it made him sad and he didn't want it affecting every Christmas we've ever had together. So I stopped talking about him. And over the years I stopped talking about all the other traumas I had suffered because any time I did, the conversation became about how it made my ex feel bad and uncomfortable. When we split up, I tried to explain that I never felt like I could talk to him about things, and he said I never brought them up. I told him about that conversation at that first Christmas, and he never remembered saying it to me. How many times has your wife started talking about things, and you've immediately started talking about how it makes you feel instead of concentrating on her? And how many times has that conversation been so throwaway that you can't even remember it? I can guarantee she remembers every single one. 
I guarantee she can recall with pinpoint accuracy every single time you've looked unhappy and said a weird, wrong, self-centered thing that stops the conversation, so you don't have to spend a single second of your life feeling even slightly uncomfortable. I can guarantee that you have shut her down every single time. When a partner doesn't show a lot of consideration for your feelings, you get very protective of the few tiny concessions you've got them to make. If she managed to get you to not celebrate Valentine's, I know for a fact she had to compromise a lot for it. And it was precious. It was one thing. And you ignored it. You are dangerous. You are entirely focused on your own comfort and appear to have no capacity to compromise. When asked to make any adjustments, you respond with manipulation and tantrums. Your sense of self is so fragile you can't take any criticism without being defensive. As long as everything is going your way, it's fine. As soon as it doesn't, everyone else better watch out. Even now, when divorce is imminent, you are having a pity party and appear to be unable to see what you did wrong. You're still angry at her and at him, and not at yourself. You made a mistake. My ex would probably say he lived in the shadow of my traumas. He didn't. He lived with a full flawed human being who had a past. He put me on a pedestal and every time I fell off it, I was punished. You never loved her, you only loved your idea of her, and every time she acted outside that idea, she was punished. Yeah, I didn't see that much of it. Man, this is really heavy stuff for my videos. Well, I'll be back to nice guys next time, I think. Anyway, that is about all the time I have for you today. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you have something to say, please let me hear it. I am definitely not the best person to give input on this story. I just wanted to narrate it. So let me know if you can relate or have some observation I didn't make. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more of the same. Thanks also to my generous patrons who help me out when I get demonetized which does happen fairly often. Anyway, have a great night, everyone, and remember that no matter how badly your Valentine's Day went, it could have been much worse.